Hi, I'm Heather from CloudSponge, and today I'm going to help you prepare for your Google OAuth verification. Uh, the first thing we want to do is create a new project. Actually, if you don't have your CloudSponge account uh, signed in and ready, as well as your Google Developers account, go ahead and pause this video and get those things ready. Um, but to get started, we're going to, going to create a project and give it a name. Uh, I won't be selecting an organization because I'm just using this for testing purposes, uh, but I do encourage you to select your organization when you create your account. It takes a moment or two, so we'll just give this some time. Okay, so now our account is created and we're going to enable APIs and services. We're looking for the People API. And that's here, and we'll enable it. All right, and then we're to our OAuth consent screen, and we'll be choosing external and create. We'll be adding the name of our app. I'm just going to go with the Hulk theme. And our user support email. Um, you'll want your support email here, but again, for testing purposes, I'm just going to use Mr. Hollywood Hogan. Um, next thing we're going to do is add our logo, as well as our domain. Again, this is just a testing domain. You're going to want to use your production domain. Uh, they will require a privacy policy link. Um, terms of service are not required. If you don't have terms of service, go ahead and leave that blank. We're going to add our domain, and this is what I want. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here. And developer contact information. Um, like I said before, the other emails you're going to want to use is your support email. Um, so down here, I've kind of done it backwards. So just make sure that your support email is above and um, any developer emails are down here. Next, we're going to add those scopes that we enabled before. Um, so again, that's the people API. This little box can get in the way, so just do your best to move around it. Uh, we want the contacts.read only and the contacts.other.read only. And we'll click to update those. And then save and continue. We'll be coming back to justify those a little bit later. We don't want any test users, so we're just going to bypass that. And then we're going to go back to our dashboard where we need to publish the app. I'm going to give you a moment just to take a look at these. Um, later on, as it says, we're going to be showing them a video as well as justification for our scopes. Okay, so now it needs verification. So we have a few more steps we need to do. We need to create our credentials. We're going to be using the OAuth 2.0 client ID. And so we'll click Create Credentials, OAuth Client ID. Application type is going to be our web application. And uh, we could just, again, stick with this name. Okay, nothing goes here under authorized JavaScript origin. Please don't click this. Uh, we're going to put our authorized redirect URI here. I have mine handy. I'm just going to do a quick, excuse me, copy paste. And, um, excuse me, and we'll click Create. And these we'll need for our CloudSponge account. So let's go over there. And um, this is old, so we're just going to go ahead and start a new one. We'll go to our Google Contacts. This is the proxy URL or um, also known as the uh, redirect URI. We're going to, again, continue with the name. This is where the client ID goes. Excuse me. 
and then our client secret. With the people API, we like other contacts. We don't recommend directory contacts. We're going to click default, excuse me, default Google client as well as live. And then we're going to save and close. And then we're going to go back over here and click OK. So the next thing you want to do is your domain verification. So this shows Google that you own the domain. Um, so you're just going to click this link here and go through that process. And we'll be right back. So now that we've verified our domain, we're going to go back over to our CloudSponge account and just check that everything is working so far. Uh, we're not done yet, but we're almost there. So I'm going to double check my, my OAuth flow here. Um, I'm already logged in, so this is looking good. And let's go back here really quickly. Because the next thing we're going to do is prepare for verification. And um, I'll show you the screen. And then we're going to come back a little bit later. And in another video, I'll show you um, what Google is going to need for the last piece of verification. And that's going to be done here. So as I said before, we're going to justify our scopes. And we're also going to show them a demo video. So for now, I'm just going to click cancel and I'll see you for the next video.